The standard rough opening from our factory doors is going to be a 24 by 82 inch rough opening. Now it seems a little bit narrow to some, but the idea with the sauna is that you want a small door so that every time you open and close the door you don't lose an immense amount of heat. So this person here framed up their door about 25 inches, a little bigger is better. We put in a couple little shim strips to fur it in down to 24 and that's what we have here. So we're going to go ahead and uh, bring our door in. Okay, now we've got the door in place and got Larry here holding it up for us. He's making sure that it's going to be flush on the exterior. I've really discovered that uh, using the same screws that you use to screw the benches in, the two and a half inch galvanized deck screw, is a great screw to mount your door. Another great aspect of using screws is if you need to move it at any later time, you can just back your screws out. And I always put the screws in right where the door is going to be closed, so you really never see the screws. Put in a couple screws just to hold the door in place and then test it a little bit. Open it and close it. Make sure your reveal is correct. Put one more screw in here. Okay, hanging a sauna door is just like hanging any other door. It takes a little bit of precision workmanship, but once you get the, the, uh, the jam with the hinges set, you just want to make sure that your reveal here on the top and the sides is going to be equal, and then you'll fill in the spaces with shims and uh, secure it once you get it all set in place. Okay, once you've got your door all hung and plumb, next you want to put your handle on. And I usually just position that right at about your convenient handle height, a couple inches from the side of the edge of the door so you don't pinch any of your fingers or anything. And just hold that in there, again with more two and a half inch galvanized deck screws. We also include the self-closing bomber hinge on these doors. And once you have your door installed, we provide you with hinge pin, <coughs> hinge pins and a hinge pin tool. And what you want to do on this thing is just slowly walk it over, load up the hinge. I usually, I usually do a couple little test runs here before I actually put the pin in. You can just leave that in there like that and see if the door swing closed. It needs to be a little tighter, I can see. So I'll walk it up a couple more holes. Let's try this one out. That works pretty nicely. So what I'm going to do is uh, pass this one more and go ahead and slip the hinge pin in the hole, like so. And now you've got your self-closing door. Perfect.